the, the risk, the danger here, is, is more a, a weaponization of the criminal process by parties who are ideologically motivated in relation to these matters in one way or another. It, it is the risk that the criminal process may be weaponized that we should have very much in mind. And given that risk, imprecision in a bill of this type is very dangerous. Um, I want to use the time I have just, just to make one or two observations about what, with respect, are uh, unsatisfactory aspects to the, um, uh, uh, concerning the wording of this bill. Let me start with the word practice, which appears in, sub in one, sub uh, section 1, subsection uh, 1, and, and then also in subsection 2. That's a dangerously ambiguous word. It's caused problems in uh, the context of employment law. Does it mean, can it be constituted by a single act or a single conversation, or does it have to be something uh, rather more long-running than that? Does it in some way connote the offering of professional services, as in the sense of a doctor's practice or a uh, solicitor's practice, these ambiguities are uh, um, uh, uh, unhelpful. Uh, th then there is the strange word assumption. That is an odd word, as, as another speaker mentioned. That is an odd word to find in a criminal statute. Uh, I suspect that that is a synonym for belief. And if it is a synonym for belief, then the word belief should be used, because that will bring into sharp focus the arguable tension between this bill and the, right, the rights in relation to religious freedom and religious expression that are contained within the Convention. So I would make that respectful suggestion. Then there is the odd word inherently, in the phrase inherently preferable. What does that mean? I take that to mean that the, uh, what has to be demonstrated is an assumption or belief that uh, sexual orientation or gender identity is preferable in all circumstances, i.e. irrespective of the particular circumstances and characteristics of the individual concerned. If I'm right about that, then that tends to, to, to suggest, I think, that what this bill is really driving at, to some extent, is what Orwell would, would call wrong think, the wrong sort of belief that is disapproved of. Clarification and, and the use of more precise language might bring these matters mm into sharper focus. A Scottish uh, Casey described the similar but much more extensive legislation or proposed legislation in Scotland as a jellyfish, uh, something that, that it, it is impossible to get hold of but has a sting in the tail. And, uh, that, that's, not, that's not that far wide of the mark. This, this bill is clearly born of, of excellent intentions, but I very much doubt that it is, it is curable by amendment.